Thursday's earthquake off the coast of Northern California put more than 5 million people on high alert for much of the late morning. And now scientists are using this earthquake as an example to further their studies and educate the public on how these earthquakes strike. New at midday, our KZI news reporter Aaron Ariano spoke with a local expert who says this event is definitely a learning lesson. It's good for research. Um, it's good for the focus we have right now. And so it, it does get us excited. Five million people along the West Coast were under a tsunami warning on Thursday. Many worried about what's going on. But once that warning was canceled, one man was all smiles. Assistant Professor of Geophysics Peter Scher from Oregon State University. This is a data point. It's a new event. We can use that for various purposes, and we will in future. Scher is part of the Cascadia Region Earthquake Science Center that looks closely at the Cascadia subduction zone. That's the fault line that Oregon lies on. So we're trying to push the science and understanding forward about the Cascadia subduction zone beneath our feet. And of course, this abduction zone extends all the way down to where this earthquake just occurred. And this earthquake occurred off the coast of Northern California. It was shallow and relatively large, a 7.0 magnitude quake, yet it did not produce a tsunami. It's not surprising to me that a few um, hours or a few minutes later, and the warning was kind of called off. That's because the two tectonic plates slid side to side instead of one dropping underneath the other in what's known as a mega thrust. That has a better chance of producing a tsunami. It's not the style or the magnitude event that we associate with tsunami like earthquakes and in recent memory, like the one in Japan in 2011 and the Sumatra one in 2004. And for the 5 million people, many of whom scrambled Thursday morning to higher ground. It seems like the public did great. You know, even even some of the news coming out of a place like Eureka, you know, the teachers and, and people in the community, they reacted properly. You know, they, they dropped cover and hold, held on. And so that's that's very exciting to hear. Quite exciting. People did react in the right way to this. They did what they needed to do. And, and from all accounts, it doesn't seem like there's too much damage right now, but it's it's good to keep our eye on things because, as we said earlier, aftershocks will occur. The Oregon Department of Emergency Management says this was a critical reminder to be ready for earthquakes and tsunamis. Aaron Oriano, KZI 9 News.